Okay, here we go with the last lesson of module eight. We're going to divide radicals. Um, we're going to continue this concept with the next week, but for this week, we're going to get started on dividing radicals. So what is what are we doing today? Obviously, dividing two radicals and expressing the answer in simplest radical form. So just like multiplication, there's a division property of radicals, which says that if I have two positive numbers and I'm dividing them, I can split them into two separate radicals. So here's an example. The square root of 36 over square root of, square root of 36 over 49, I can rewrite as the square root of 36 over the square root of 49, which is nice because the square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of 49 is 7, and I'm done with that problem. How about this one? Well, I've got 14 radical 11 over the square root of 49. Can't really do anything to the top right now. Can't do anything to 11. 11's prime. But the square root of 49, we should know, is 7. Well, now 14 and 7 are both outside the radical, so I can reduce those to 2. 14 divided by 7 is 2 times radical 11, and that's the simplified version of the original problem. How about this one? Well, a cool thing you can do is, that's just a fraction. I can reduce fractions. 60 divided by 5 is 12. I'm just going to reduce it. It didn't take away the radical. I still have to simplify it. The square root of 12, now I can do what I did in lesson 1 and break 12 into 4 times 3. The square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2, radical 3. Okay. A little more complicated fraction is right here. 30 over 40, I know I can reduce that. I can take 10 out of both of those. So that gives me 3 and 4. I can also reduce the A's. There's A to the 5th on top and an A on the bottom. Well, that means that there's 4 more A's on top. You see it written that way, A to the 4th. Now I can split it up and do the square root of 3 on top times the square root of A to the 4th and the square root of 4 on the bottom. On the bottom, that becomes our X on the top. Can't really do anything to 3, so that's going to stay under the radical. But the square root of A to the 4th is A squared. Square root of 4 is 2, and that's the simplified version of that fraction. All right. What you're going to learn in the next week, in the next lesson with dividing radicals, is you are not allowed to have a radical in the denominator. In all of the examples we just did, the radical did cancel because it was a perfect square underneath the radical. Moving forward, we're going to figure out how to take care of it if it doesn't cancel. But for now, for this unit, for this lesson, um, the bottom should cancel the radical. Um, and you should be left with just a whole number in the bottom. Okay. So that concludes our lesson three.